not everybody's going to like what you write. Uh, some people are going to be critical. But if you worried about what people thought, you wouldn't write. <laughs> you know, um, every time a new book comes out, um, there's reviews, and some reviews are good, and some are not so good. And I, I always say, you just you read the bad reviews to see if you can learn anything from them. And if you can, that's fine. If you can't, you can forget about it. I mean, you you can't let that worry you because if you let that worry you, you you wouldn't do it. Um, I'm not very afraid of criticism because I believe that the point of criticism is the idea of independent thought. Um, I write what I write. I don't expect the world to love it. It's wonderful that people like it, but it, I don't expect people to necessarily like it. Um, I expect people to respond to it honestly and to say, yes, this, I understand this, I don't understand that, whatever. And that each intellect is its own independent space. Um, the beauty of reading, um, I always love to read, I always felt like when I'm reading, I'm entering the mind of another person. That's the closest I'll ever get to entering the mind of another person. I hope that my books can do the same thing for other people. And it will for some, and it won't for others. I think we all have that experience. You read things you don't like, right? And, you know, I, I read famous writers, you know, very well-known writers, writers that a lot of people think are, are wonderful, and I go, nah, I don't get it, I'm not that interested. It's okay. But I, I think it's important that, um, as a writer, not to let that be the main reason to write. Because if I'm only writing to please people, then I don't think I'm much of a writer. Sometimes I write things that people don't want to hear and I think that's just as important.